Okay, assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Let me welcome all of you in this session. Professor Jamil from Duet is with me as co-chair. I hope this session will be interesting. We have one invited talk and six contributory papers in this session. We shall begin with invited talk by Professor Mohiuddin, a young energetic researcher from the Department of Physics, Chuet. May I now request Professor Mohiuddin to present his talk entitled Magazine's Fifth Generation 2D Materials Go Beyond Graphics. Professor Mohiuddin, please. So, so thank you very much. Can you see or can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, thank you very much. First of all, uh, I would like to thank the organizing committee of the BPS uh, National Conference to invite me. So today I would like to talk about the magazine materials, the fifth generation two-dimensional materials go beyond the graphing. So this is the this is the outline of my talk here. I would like to uh, say some key words regarding the 2D materials because in this conference, the most of the people are said, uh, well known to the 3D material. So then I would like to show some synthesis uh, route for the, the 2D MX, synthesis the maximum 2D material. And for the time constant, I would like to show you a very exclusive uh, application of the maximum material here. And finally, I will summarize and some, give some outlook of the maximum material in future. So the 2D, uh, 2D material is uh, come to the point uh, in front for the discussion after the graphene rediscovered in 2004. You know by the this graphene discovered by the Jane and Novosala. And after that, in 2010, they awarded the Nobel Prize for this graphene. And after that, the, the scientists are more interested in the graphene because the high mobility and high conductivity of this material. So, is there uh, graphene is the only the 2D material? No. This is the 2D material world. Graphene is one of them. And there are many materials are competitive with the graphene. I would like to uh, I would like to show you some magazine, one of them here, the uh, very uh, exclusive competitive member of the graphene, and I will show you the magazine. So question is that, why I, uh, there is the, the distinct five uh, different the 2D material you can see in the periodic table. The scientists have developed five groups, general, general five groups. You can see here the magazine, these are the 2D material, magazine, genes, TMD, nitrate and organic material. So question is that why I choose this the maximum material? Because the last the, uh, since 2014 in our group we have already been published 20 more articles on the max phase materials. You know later I will show you the uh, uh, or the detail, detail bit detail about the max phase material. So because of the max phase material is used as the precursor to synthesis the maximum material. That's why, because our group, we have published the more uh, articles on the max space material under uh, the computational uh, the, the, the related. So we now we like to one step forward to another, the, the next generation material is maxine. That's why I choose the maxine material here today. So I would like to show you the very simple synthesis uh, rule of the maxine to the materials. So there are different uh, the synthesis method uh, for the 2D material synthesis. You know that we can divide it into two general methods for the uh, synthesis of 2D material, uh, top down and the uh, bottom up. So maximum the the bottom up material bottom bottom up technique is used on the, the physical properties channel, so CBD method also. And the top down method the method is included the mechanical expression using cap technology, people are well known with the positive technology to produce the graphene from the graphite by using the positive that we can uh, separate the single layer of the graphite we can call the graphene. Another one is the liquid phase explosion method. We have the chemical synthesis of the green synthesis method and we also, another method is the ion intercalation method. So 
But now we can see, uh, I would like to show you some very basic of the max phase material. Max means MAS, M means the transition metal, transition material element, in that you can see the color of the, uh, the TV periodic table, and A means the 9 to 16 the element of the periodic table, and X means carbon or nitrogen. So this next phase material has attracted mass attention for the, uh, the combined properties of this material, metal and ceramic. You can have the two, I mean, say two properties in the max phase material. You can see here in the very big list, already this, uh, their max phase, this max phase are, have already been synthesized or competitionally predicted. So till now, more than 80 phases, this max phase material has already been identified and if you consider the solid solution, for example, if you change the eggs, then if, if you have the minimum, means you have the much option to synthesize the next, next material, just changing the, the ratio. So in our lab, we have, uh, I already told you, we have published the next phase material, the, uh, the different articles of the next phase material, and you can see there are the different the phase of the max phase material, 211, T12, and 413. In this, in this structure, very, uh, if I, if I uh, like to say this simply, you, you have the layer, NX layer, and between two NX layer, you have the another A layer. We are interested on this point that we would like to remove this A layer, how to remove this A layer, and then you can get the max phase material to maxim material, two-dimensional material. So, problem is that the as the graphene, you can we cannot apply the mechanical expression technique to uh, to synthesize the maxim material from the max material because the strong bonding between the M and A. I already showed you the max with M A X. So a strong bonding between the M A A the hinders this technique. This uh, hinders us to apply this this technique. We cannot apply the mechanical expression technique as the graphene. So. If you, if you can show you here, this is the max phase, NX2, and here the A layer, and this is the, you, you have the, the different NX layer, and between that you have the A layer. So, the, but another advantage we have, metallic bonding A, NA is weaker than the, the ionic bonding NX. It means if you apply the chemical synthesis or chemical itching method, we can remove this A layer very easily. So, this uh, the graph, this uh, schematic uh, show, it shows the, the summary of the synthesis of the maxim material. For example, we use the max, max material as the precursor. You know there is a different the NX layer, and between this NX layer, you have the A layer like that. And if we apply the chemical itching, for example, if you uh, apply the hydrochloric itching uh, chemical, then we can remove the A layer between the NX layer. And if we remove the A layer, it, uh, from the NX, the max phase material, then if, if you have the metal with the surface phase, because you have, you, you have used the already chemical, then you have the, the max phase material, but in that, uh, between the next, next in material, you have the OH radical or fluorine or oxygen. And after that, if you apply the sonication, then you can easily separate the max phase sheet. We can say the flame or maxine sheet. This is the very simple method. So, but the scientists always would like to avoid the hazardous HF chemical itching because you know, if you apply the HF type of chemical, then you have to follow the very strict protocol for the uh, safety of the measurement. That's why people are the, uh, uh, the discovered another rule. If you use the HCl and lithium fluoride, then you can have also the same thing you, are, you can have the very high quality maxim sheet. So this is the another route. This is the another route. You can apply the any one. It depends on the skill, experimental skill. So if we if we add, if we can see here that TM shows that 2D sheet of the very clear TM uh, 2D two dimensional material, we can see in the TM uh, the measurement. So here, it, uh, it, this slide shows that uh, this is the how we can see the, the different the CM image of the max material from the max material. Here, here use the max phase material, titanium aluminum carbide as the precursor, and we can get the 
the maximum material teaching and Kawai. And this is the maxim, next phase material, this is the maximum material. And of course, we have also used the solid state solution, solid solution, also the next next phase material. And after that, we can have the maximum material of solid solution. If we summary the, the world of the 2D material, then we can say the maximum is the largest 2D material family. Of course, you can see this is the this slide shows that. There are many maximum materials are already being synthesized, and many of them are computationally predicted, and many order or solution has already been synthesized and predicted also. So, after that, I would like to show you some uh, the exclusive example of this maximum material, and we are very interested to the energy storage, uh, the, the material as the maximum in, in maximum material. Then I would like to show you very uh, quickly to the optical property. If we can see the optical property of the maximum material, you can see the absorption peak of this maximum material. It means you have the more option to choose the material. It depends on the your uh, desired application. You can have the different option. You can choose the material uh, if you do it, uh, whatever you have. You you need uh, depends on the absorption. For example, the titanium carbide is the well-known medicine material. It has the absorption at the infrared, near infrared region. So in, in, in this slide, you, have, you, you can see different color and different medicine material are, are commercially available in the market. And if you, uh, you, can, you can use this medicine material at the different application. So this optical property of the titanium carbide, you can use the cancer therapy. And in drug delivery, in drug delivery, you can use the maximum material because, for example, this is the one example. You have the maximum material by uh, in this synthesis method, and this maximum material, maximum layer between the maximum layer, you have the gap, and this gap that the your drug can accumulate. And we, it, it, uh, this maximum material can retain your drug, and if you push this maximum material to carry your drug in the uh, cancer in near the cancer affected cell. And after that, if you apply the laser of the NER, NER then this the maximum material will as absorb the NER region, the light, and it will be heated and kill the cancer cell. This is the this is the, the efficient application of the maximum material in the photothermal therapy, and also the another super paramagnetic iron oxide nanoparticle of the maximum material are, are widely used in MRI and CT scan also now. So if we look at the mechanical properties, we are also, this mechanical property of the medicine, we can compare uh, with the graphene. It's competitor in two-dimensional world, it's competitor with graphene and also hexanol and boron nitride, because if uh, these two uh, well-known uh, the medicine material, recently the scientists are uh, synthesis to this uh, medicine material, and this medicine material has that 0 0.5 terapascale uh, scale young modulus, this, uh, can be oil com compared to the maximum material. And of course, the right the, the panel shows that uh, if we the single layer, if some single layer of graphene and single layer of uh, the maximum material, we can compare the, the strain, we can attain that we can very much close to the uh, graphene. We can compare also the, the, the maximum material with the graphene for single layer also. So another one, most important application of the vaccine in the uh, fifth generation, fifth generation technology, because nowadays you use the credit card, you use the another card, and also simultaneously we use the mobile phone and also laptop. And this electronics material, it always emits the electromagnetic radiation. So to protect the body, we need the electromagnetic reference shielding to protect the, our body from this electromagnetic radiation. So maximum material is the efficient, the candidate or in this fifth generation world, because if you compare in this slide shows the efficiency of the EMI shielding, efficiency of the maximum material, here is the graphene. Here is the graphene, even though from the graphene, you can uh, fabricate the very thin layer of the maximum material and maximum material shows the, the very large EMI shielding. And we can uh, uh, efficiently use this vaccine material to shield the EMI uh, radiation from the, our devices. And because another advantage of the vaccine material, even by spray, 
by using the spray, you can uh, deposit the, uh, the magazine material on your the chip in the credit uh, card or other devices, and very easily we can protect our body from the EMI chip uh, electronic application. Alternatives application recently people published there are uh, people are uh, using the ITO based in solar cell material. Usually use the ITO, ITO based the uh, the photon OLED, but magazine material shows the uh, almost similar characteristics, uh, optical characteristics of the ITO based. Then it, this is the another uh, efficient candidate in the uh, renewable energy sources to use this magazine material as the different uh, the ITO based absorption material here. Yeah. So the, now I, I, uh, I would like to show you very exclusive uh, the study of application of the magazine material in energy storage devices. This, uh, this is one example in 2016, uh, more than 1,200 papers are published in this topic. And you can see from this pie chart, most of the portion are uh, occupied in the energy storage device because the, this, the, now the burning question uh, uh, in front of the scientists to uh, search the efficient energy storage material. Because energy can be produced the different sort by using the different sources, but how to export the energy, the energy efficiently and mass level, and after that you can use this energy in your desired time. So the before going to the energy storage, uh, how to uh, we use the maximum material in the energy storage material? Before that, I would like to show some very basic of the uh, the lithium ion battery. Uh, how, how to work the lithium ion battery and how graphite is used for the, the energy storage material. You can see from this list that lithium has the large electrochemical uh, potential, for example, 3.09. And from the electronic structure, we can see only one electron in the outer portion. Okay, so in the metal structure, lithium is bounded in the metal. So if we can remove this, the lithium, lithium atom, the, uh, uh, somehow the outside, then after the some very small energy, we uh, uh, su supply the very small energy, we can separate this electron from the outer motion because it's loosely bound. Then you, you have the free electron and you have the lithium ion. And after that, if we can guide this electron and lithium ion somehow to go the original point again, then we can get the electricity because movement of the electron is the electricity. So if we guide like that way, then this electron and lithium ion can accumulate, can, can meet the original point, and by this way, we can produce the electricity. So this that phenomena is used in the lithium ion battery. Here's the lithium, uh, lithium and here the graphite to, uh, to, uh, to store the, the, the energy, and we can use it here, here we use the electrolyte. So what is the method is that if you charge the battery, then what, what happened? The, this positive charge affects the electron, electrons comes to here and is put the, uh, the graphite and also lithium ion can penetrate with the electrolyte and is put here. And if the charging, full charging, uh, full charge condition like that, we can uh, write the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the deal and we have the top of this deal with the fully, fully charged. And whenever you we discharge from the charge and we connect the load, then it's having that electron goes to the another these places, and in lithium also can penetrate by the electrolyte and comes to original point like that. Analogy is that we there is speaker, you have two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. Okay. Please. okay, sir. Thank you. Get down from the top to bottom. And this is used in the practical cell. For example, here you use the, the Tesla cell, and this mechanism is used in the Tesla car also. The problem is that people are searching how we can change this graphite with the more efficient material that can store the more energy. Now people are searching that if we can change the silicon to the graphite, then we can say we can increase the cycle of the battery from 3,000 to 10,000. Then after 25 years, Tesla announced that after that 25 years, if we can achieve this goal, then after 25 years, you can replace your battery, and this is a huge market. So now I am going to show you, this is the graphite, this is the maximum material. This maximum material has the advantage because it has the open stage between the two layers and it can accumulate the various ion here. And this is the, of course, this is the, the experimental reason. We can, uh, this maximum material can store the large energy. And this is the, uh, the, uh, the, this is the predicted result, the, uh, the predicted 
uh, the storage capacity of the magazine material, but the the, uh, the in practical in practical case we can uh, the in magazine material it has the large the larger than the predicted storage capacity 410 same as the graphene graphene has the 280 mA per hour capacity it is the 75 percent of the theoretical capacity so now we have the the different type of in battery you have the, the capacity is the phase shift and this if we can use the magazine material we have the super capacitor or super capacitor it can charge very quickly and the electrochemical also the application if we use the the magazine material as the electrode it has very efficiently we can use because it has the value larger than the recently nowadays people are using the super, super the lithium oxide so we have this another, another advantage so i would like to summarize my uh, the talk here more than 50 magazine have been reported so far and we have the much more option to synthesize and also redox reaction in the magazine material is very useful for the energy storage devices and also we can have uh, the elastic property and mechanical strength and this storage material energy storage material is good for the magazine and another much more application so uh, the output of the magazine material we can say these two people are saying that uh, these two material monolayer is uh, very effective for the uh, next generation energy storage material and this end can be can be uh, replaced by titanium, vanadium, and zirconium or scandium also now. So what is what we are doing here? The our department recently we have awarded a, a, a project and we have taken the initiative to simulate the computation to simulate the, the magazine, well known magazine material and parallelly we have the, taken the initiative to synthesis this magazine material from the max phase material also. So we have the, uh, the, uh, the strong growth here, and we have the collaboration also different people in the different corner of the world. And uh, we are always welcome the students to join in our group. And also, uh, of course, we, uh, we appreciate always the collaboration to be uh, our uh, collaboration with us. And we, I would like to request all participants to request their student if they can join with us the uh, postgraduate admission in the Jewett. That is uh, knocking the door that they like us to be going. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you so much, Professor Moyuddin. Uh